The miniature Schnauzer and Scottish Terrier are both lovely and protective dogs which can look quite similar at first glance. Although they have a lot in common, they are different dogs. Deciding which breed makes the best choice for you depends on your personality preferences, how much time investment they need and many other factors. Divided into 10 topics, we help you learn the differences of these two breeds so you can decide which one better suits to your family and lifestyle. Number 1. Origin Miniature Schnauzers were originally bred to be guard dogs on farms. They were developed in the mid to late 19th century in Germany by crossbreeding the standard Schnauzer with smaller breeds such as the Miniature Pinscher, Affen Pinscher and perhaps the Poodle or Pomeranian. The intent was to create a smaller version of the well established standard Schnauzer. The Scottish Terrier is one of the oldest breeds in Scotland and is the original foundation for all Terrier breeds. They are pictured in books and novels and during the 17th century this breed became more famous in France and since then was used for their hunting skills. Number 2. Personality The miniature Schnauzer is generally well mannered and very obedient, making him a great student. They are very intelligent and have an affectionate and playful personality, which makes them a great family dog. They are also very alert and are known to pick up every sound around them allowing them to burn their family if they sense danger. The Scottish Terrier's personality is confident, fearless and feisty. They have a tendency to be quite independent and love to play with family members. They are skeptical of strangers and dogs and it takes a while for them to warm up to someone, which also makes them great watchdogs. They can be much more sensitive at times than the miniature schnauzer, so make sure to be handsome to them. Number 3. Appearance Miniature Schnauzers are usually 12 to 14 inches tall, which is 30 to 35 centimeters, and weigh between 11 to 20 pounds, which is 5 to 9 kilograms. A Scottish Terrier will only grow up to 10 inches, which is 25 centimeters, but can weigh up to 22 pounds, which is 10 kilograms. You can see the main difference of those two breeds when looking at the head. The miniature Schnauzer does have a bushy beard and eyebrows that gives them a charming, human like expression. The name Schnauzer means muscle or snout and was used commonly to refer to a moustache. The head of a Scottish Terrier is long in proportion to his size. His very special keen and piercing expression and his erect ears and tail are famous features of the breed. Number 4. Trainability The miniature Schnauzer is well mannered and obedient, however needs training. A variety of training methods works best with this breed. Obedience training and socialization must be started at an early age as they have the tendency to be stubborn. They are eager to learn and fairly easy to housebreak if the right techniques are used. They have a strong prey drive so they should never be allowed off leash when not in a fenced area as they might want to chase small animals. Scottish Terrier like to challenge their owners while training. They are also very intelligent and can be independent which makes them have a mind of their own. If a Scotty doesn't feel like training that day, chances are they will just go and do whatever they want. Remember that they are more sensitive than the miniature schnauzers, so never scold or punish them, especially during training. For a first time dog owner, the miniature schnauzer is your better choice. If you are experienced with dogs and dog training, you can also get a Scottish Terrier. If you want to learn more about dog brain training and training methods, check out the description. Number 5. Time Investment one of the biggest differences of these two breeds is noticed in this topic. A miniature schnauzer follows you from room to room, loves to play in a yard and will do fine without one if you give him a long walk every day. This breed needs 45 minutes of daily exercise and their greatest choice to be with their family. So the more time you spend with your dog, the more he loves you and becomes a happy dog. A Scottish Terrier is an energetic breed but they only require a moderate level of physical activity each day. You only need to walk them 20 to 40 minutes daily to keep them healthy and happy. They are not a needy breed, which means they can be left alone for a few hours. They are also not made for endurance, so try to stay away from long runs or hikes. Compare, the miniature Schnauzer needs a lot more time with his family than the Scottish Terrier, so you should know how much time you can spend with your dog and then decide which of those breeds better suits to your lifestyle. Number 6. Coat both breeds do have a double coat. The miniature Schnauzer's top coat is wiry and the undercoat catches the loose hair, which makes him hardly shed at all. This makes him a perfect house dog, especially for those who suffer from asthma. Groom this breed every 5 to 8 weeks to keep them looking their best. 
Famous for his mustache, you should go to a professional groomer to get that beautiful schnauzer because they know how to hairdress them. The Scottish Terrier's top coat is also wiry and the bottom coat is soft and dense. His hair just keeps growing which also makes him shed less. You can decide if you want to keep his hair short or long by clipping his coat every month or only several times a year. Did you like this video so far? It would make our day if you subscribe to our channel. We upload new videos every day. Number 7. Best Home Both the miniature schnauzer and Scottish Terrier like hanging out with his people and they are good with children. Both have protective qualities. The Scottish Terrier is even nicknamed the Nanny. Kids and these two breeds are a great combination because they'll help each other to burn off steam. Due to their small size, you should teach children how to approach and play with these two dog breeds to make them feel comfortable and don't give them a reason to get snappy or aggressive. If you are living on your own or with your partner, these breeds may also suit to your lifestyle. Just make sure to be able to spend enough time with them and provide them social interaction. Still, loud and rowdy toddlers may be too much for a Scottish Terrier to handle. Older children who know how to handle and care for a dog would be a better fit for this breed. If you have young kids, the miniature schnauzer is the best choice for you. Number 8. Health Both breeds are generally healthy, but like all breeds of dogs, they are prone to certain health issues. For the miniature schnauzer, this includes cataracts, hyperlipidemia and pancreatitis. For the Scottish Terrier, this includes Scotty Cramp, von Willebrand's disease or patella luxation. When buying a puppy, a good breeder will discuss with you what they have encountered in their lines and if you want to know more about their health condition, talk to your local veterinarian or other experienced dog owners. Brush your dog's teeth frequently to improve their overall health. On average, the miniature schnauzer lives up to 14 years, whereas the average lifespan of the Scottish Terrier is 13 years. Number 9. Costs the cost to buy a miniature schnauzer or a Scottish Terrier breed can vary and depend on factors like the breeder's reputation, litter size and lineage of the puppy. The median price for both breeds is around $1000 to $1100. This is a price you can expect to budget for a puppy with papers without breeding right or show quality. If you are looking for a higher quality puppy with a superior pedigree, you can expect to pay between $3000 to $5000 for a miniature schnauzer and between $1600 to $5000 for a Scottish Terrier. Besides these one-time costs, your dog will cost you additional $500 to $1000 a year for food, toys, wet bills, training and other costs. Number 10. Diet Due to their similar size and weight, both breeds need the same amount of food, which is 1 to 1.5 one cups of high quality food a day, split into two separate servings. The amount of food is dependent on their activity level, metabolism, age and size. Make sure you are feeding them high quality food so they can live a long and healthy life. Look for food with high quality proteins, vegetables and fats that are all natural and organic products. As with every breed, each dog is individual and needs individual treatment. Try to find out the right amount of food they need and talk to your veterinarian and dog owners with the same breed for honest opinions and experiences. Do you consider adopting or buying a miniature schnauzer or Scottish Terrier? Let us know in the comments and share your opinions about these two breeds. If you are interested in dog brain training and training methods, check out the description. And if you like our videos, make sure to subscribe to learn more about dogs in the future.